Welcome, welcome. I'm Steve, and I'm without Kev today because he's busy um, abandoning me. So I, I, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about um, artificial intelligence and will artificial intelligence end humanity in the next two years? <laughs> uh, the idea that artificial intelli intelligence can destroy the world seems like science fiction to me, but it is also a serious concern among some experts. Um, there's a guy called uh, Max Clifford, and he's uh, Rishi Sunak's advisor on the development of the government's uh, foundation model task force, and he's the chairman of the Advanced Research and in, uh, Invention Agency. And he recently expressed concerns over artificial intelligence in an interview he did on Talk TV. Since then, everyone seems to be talking about how AI will end humanity in the next few years. Um, and my initial thoughts were, um, well, it was, what the hell are they talking about now? <laughs> Another crisis to scare people. I think we've had enough of those in the last three years. So, is this all just a load of rubbish? Or is it something that we need to actually take seriously? After all, you've got prominent voices like Elon Musk, who's the CEO of um, Tesla and SpaceX. Um, you had Stephen Hawking, the late physicist and um an an author uh and you, you had uh Nick uh, Bostrom who's the Swedish philosopher and futurist and they've all expressed concerns that AI uh can be a dangerous thing and uh you know like uh, our politicians like to have a scientific consensus but there is no consensus among experts on the likelihood of AI destroying the world Maybe there isn't enough financial incentive to create a consensus yet, so we'll see where that goes. Despite the lack of consensus, should we take it seriously? So let's have a think about some of the ways in which AI could potentially destroy the world. So firstly, AI could be used to maybe create superintelligent weapons that could kill millions and even billions of people. We've all seen that movie, haven't we? Let's have a think. Secondly, AI could disrupt the global economy, leading to mass unemployment and social unrest. Hasn't that, hasn't that already happened? <laughs> um, thirdly, AI could lead to the creation of a new global order. Yes, but no, no, not the World Economic Forum. A new global power. That, that's not controlled by humans. Hmm. Um, I've got another one, actually. Um, an AI-controlled nuclear weapon system. It could launch a strike without human intervention, blasting the Earth to smithereens. Yeah, I like that one. But with that in mind, uh, AI systems could be used for malicious purposes. Of course, that's where our minds always go. They could create autonomous weapon systems or just like the, the, a nuclear weapon system or they could spread disinformation. Oh, the first thing I've come up with that is an actual thing, <laughs> if, if you know what I mean. The spread of disinformation it happens on social media every single day and it's amplified by bots and, dare I say it, government agencies. So we'll prepare, let's prepare ourselves for termination if uh, if this is the case because we're already there. Obviously, I'm thinking out loud a little bit. But if some experts believe that AI can lead to our extinction because AI systems become so intelligent that they decide that humans are a threat to the planet, especially with um, you know our our own con scientific consensus on climate change um, leading to things uh, ideas like the uh, climate catastrophe, climate crisis. Yeah, AI could take steps to just eliminate us altogether. If we really think that we are bad for planet Earth, then why wouldn't an AI system think it too? But, but this would have to be on such a massive scale that it would lead to um, social unrest and instability. 
that it's not outside the realms of possibility and even used to manipulate elections too <laughs> and that's a hot topic in the United States but this method would require the AI to manipulate us all to such a degree that we stupid foolish humans would eliminate ourselves at, at the moment we don't we don't have AI um, you know robots it's not Terminator we could oh, I'm thinking about maybe some military drones maybe they've got if you applied AI to them then then maybe they could um, but there's not enough of them is there to destroy all of humanity not yet so in essence, I think we would have to destroy ourselves. So AI would have to convince us to destroy ourselves somehow. So, I mean, AI is not controlling everything right now, is it? We are. But AI is becoming, fair to say, increasingly powerful and sophisticated because we dumbass humans keep developing it and making it like that. But um, it's also possible that AI could be used to solve some of the world's most pressing problems couldn't it treatments for cancer that kind of thing you can use it as a tool AI is a tool I mean, you see that with chat GTP and BARD and uh, Bing and like, but like any other tool it can be used for good or for evil so it's up to us humans isn't it to ensure that AI is used for good and not for evil um, seems the media loves to sensationalise and sort of narrativise topics to hook in readers and listeners and watchers. Right now, while every topic is a crisis, literally every topic's a crisis, and we all have this heightened sense of danger in the world, and especially in a world where actually it was far less dangerous than ever before. <laughs> AI could AI could could sort of work well to destroy us. I think. I suppose I'm more worried about the, the nefarious intentions of um, of humans. What will power-hungry, money-hungry um, people do to end or to ensure the end of the human race? But I'd start by watching out for who finances artificial intelligence projects. Because I always I always say, follow the money. And that's where you'll find sort of an answer closer to the truth. And I think it's sensible to think about the potential dangers of, of AI or potential danger from the humans doing the program, programming of AI, those that are doing the coding of it. And it's sensible for us to think about how we can mitigate those dangers through the development of um, artificial intelligence safety guidelines um investment ah oh, this is a dangerous one but investment in artificial intelligence research and education for the public about it but why 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 <laughs> are we always fixated on on the end of the world scenarios can you not remember years ago you'd see it in movies wouldn't you there'd be somebody with a big sign strapped to them in the middle of New York City or something and they're saying the world is nine everyone thinks they're absolutely mad well I think that one person that one in a million person is now one in a hundred person one in fifty persons <laughs> it's gonna soon be one in ten mm. so that, I mean, there was a time less than ten years ago when we could discuss a discuss this topic with sort of intrigue and we could leave all of the doom to the crazy guy shouting on the street, wearing a sign that says the end is nigh. <laughs> the rules have reversed, haven't they? But the, the possibilities for AI in the future are actually vast. AI could be used to solve climate change, yeah? Uh, poverty and disease. And those like hot topics that have been that have been stamped in everyone's minds for the last few years. The fact is, we can use it to continue to improve our quality of life, as fossil fuels have. Let's not forget that. Uh, the facts are that AI is not currently capable of ending humanity. That is 
firmly in the hands of the current world leaders, the humans. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe the world leaders are being controlled by AI. I don't know. I've got no evidence of that. But it is important to remember that AI is is such a rapidly developing technology. But it's not going to kill anyone. Well, anyone that isn't on social media anyway. I used to read articles about all of this in Wide magazine. And we're talking sort of we're talking 10 over 10 years ago. And there wasn't at that time there wasn't any scaremongering. Um they could talk, they they would talk it would be a balanced I mean Wired magazine's pretty good. It would be a balanced sort of report on that or article. They did talk about how AI could be dangerous, but AI still haven't been wiped out. Uh, sorry, humans haven't been wiped out by AI yet, have they? No. But for those of you who are still convinced that we're all going to die, let's get a, pa- a plan in place. Let's recognise that AI systems are becoming more in- increasingly powerful and sophisticated due to advances in machine learning and artificial neural networks. Let's also recognise that AI systems are becoming increasingly autonomous. They're able to make their own decisions without human intervention. Although we have to code the AI to be that way. And let's let's finally recognise, because I think this is key, there is currently a lack of regulation of AI. Now, I'm not in favour of regulation, but in some cases, I think it's necessary. So, let's create... Let's create that regulation now so that no one or group of people can misuse it, uh, all of this technology in the future. Let's ensure AI systems are designed to be beneficial to humanity and, and ensure that we have no reason to believe that AI would suddenly turn against us. Um, ultimately, I think it is impossible to say for sure whether or not AI will pose a threat to humanity in the future. I personally don't think it will be a threat. Not a a threat as in um, we're all going to be wiped out and you're going to have machines walking on the skulls of the dead. I think it could, there could be, there, there, there are ways to use it nefariously and it could be programmed in that way. Imagine if AI was, you know, you create an AI virus, for example. I always say this is like a, a there's, there's going to be a, a reason behind it like create a, an, a, an AI virus to extract money but there I say it, there is no immediate threat to humanity it's all clickbait <laughs> and after all everyone loves a good sci-fi so that's it from me you've been listening to um Steve on Nerds Talk. Subscribe to our podcast on Apple, Spotify, Audible, Overcast, YouTube and Rumble. Um, You can also find my stuff on stevensweeney.co.uk and check out my comic book at bringcasefiles.com. You can check Kev's stuff out on kevingroverfiction.co.uk. He's got a few books. They're very good. Um, Check him out. And I'll see you next time.